Our pass rate in the Department of Correctional Services for full-time learners is an impressive 93.2%. A total of 137 out of 147 full-time candidates passed their 2023 National Senior Certificate exams. We also have part-time registered learners in DCS. When looking at their performance combined with the full-time learners, we're observing an 84% rate where 157 learners out of 187 passed. Furthermore, 100 of these learners achieved a bachelor passes. Inmates in Guazulu Natal have achieved a 100% metric pass rate in all four correctional centers. These centers are amongst the nine top performing correctional centers in the country. Elizabeth Lamini from Gauteng, who is serving a sentence of 20 years for murder, is amongst the top achievers. Even though she's behind bars, Lamini says she intends to further her studies. Her plan is to study psychology. I did very well for myself considering the age. I'm 40 years of age, but then I did very well for myself. I couldn't even believe that I can do this, but I did it. Devon Jacobs, who is now a parolee from the Western Cape, wrote the exam before he was released last year. He is over the moon with his results and believes he's been given a second chance. He obtained seven distinctions. Now that he's out, Jacobs wants to pursue law. In Brandplay, management area, um, last year I wrote the 2023 matric exams. And honestly speaking, if I should rate the exams myself, I would rate it. Um, it was quite easy according to me. I achieved seven distinctions in all my subjects and I'm the second best performer. Amongst the challenges faced by offenders once they are released is the struggle to find employment. Lamola has urged employers to give ex-convicts an opportunity. Today some of our communities boast of plumbers, bricklayers, hairstylists, beautification specialists, bakers and farmers, to mention but a few, as a result of skills that were transferred to inmates during their term of incarceration. We have equally offered employers resourceful, gainful and, ad and adaptable employees who are contributing towards the growth of various companies across the country. All that we are appealing for, it is for employers not to overlook our skilled parolees, but rather give them an equal opportunity and pay them fairly for their labor. Lamola says the department plans to open additional correctional services schools in other facilities countrywide as the number of inmates increase. Blond Khatib, SAPC News, Deben.